Oh my word. Oh god. You weren't chosen for your looks, bro. <sighs> I'm getting pretty damn good at it. You're mine, baby. Reactor active. Sensor system online. Sufficient mobility. Connected to the superior AI. Overriding control sequences. All right, well, guys. Well, there you go. That's my uh, let's play of Hard Reset. Um, real quick, just my impressions of the game. I think it's a, it's a, it's an interesting game. Uh, it's definitely a throwback to the, some of the more old school first-person shooters, and that makes sense given that the guys who made this, uh, this was a combination of. Uh, CD Projekt and um, oh, I forget their name, but they're the ones who made Painkiller, which were uh, you know CD Projekt uh, the guys who made The Witcher, and people who know The Witcher know that they make they know how to make good looking games, and Painkiller they know how to make good looking guns. Um, so that definitely makes sense, and they're yeah clearly they're going for a more uh, old school first person shooter. In some ways it's good. I mean I like the I like the visual style of it. I like the the aesthetics of the gun, the way the gun changes. I mean, I love the fact that you don't have to reload your weapons, your your uh, any of your weapons at all. I mean, whatever the two that you get. I like the upgrade system, and some of the weapons do have some really cool abilities. I mean, it's sad that I kind of figured out about that railgun pretty late in the game because I think that's a pretty awesome weapon, uh, very useful. Um, and the shooting is responsive. It's it works, and um, there is a certain sense of satisfaction of uh, you know, getting through an area and succeeding when it, things were tough, especially like that last boss was very, very satisfying, very, very fun to play. Uh, I think it took me a while to understand how this game works, and maybe that's one one of the reasons I was so frustrated with it in the beginning was simply because I was playing it in a very modern context, kind of like the the Halo 2 context, the Halo context of first-person shooters that were more, uh, I don't want to say easier, but it was just uh, more fast-paced. I mean, it was the idea that you could get through an area. I mean, the regenerating health thing basically is what I'm talking about, and that didn't really give a sense of um, urgency to the situation itself. It gave us, you, it had urgency to the larger scope of the game, but initially, like you could go through an area and, and you could be a little bit more um, cavalier with how you approach the situation. Whereas in this, I mean, if you obviously you've seen me do it plenty of times, but if you aren't smart in how you play the game you will get fucked up pretty easily and that's good i think that the idea of them trying to go back to a first the old school style of first person shooters in a modern context is pretty neat i mean i think that having been said there are some things about the game that i just don't like i don't like the enemy ai it's very bland very monotonous obviously the story is complete horseshit that doesn't mean anything um i think that's it anyway um yeah like the story is complete garbage there's really nothing there it's just the same crap over and over again uh although it's like i said i, I love the aesthetic of it the very the blade runner style to it is very very cool um i i know i was frustrated with it and there were times where i did get really frustrated with the game but i think overall it was an enjoyable quick experience that if uh people like to go back to those again be be warned that this is a very old school type of first person shooter if you're in for that this is definitely uh, up your alley uh, is worth checking out. I think I give it a uh, 3 out of 5. Uh, simply because I think modern shooters, you can do modern shooters and still make them difficult. And there have been games that have done that. It's not just about the RPG elements of give them more health. 
or uh, give let them kill you faster. There are better ways to do it. I think a good example of a modern game that I liked a lot uh, was Rage. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I think one of the things I liked about it was that it felt like a very modern first-person shooter. Uh, and as I scaled up the difficulty, I thought that the enemies... It wasn't... I, I beat that game on the Nightmare difficulty, and it never felt overtly hard. It felt challenging, and I felt like I was really being tested, but it felt like the enemy was... I mean, they had some brilliant, brilliant enemy AI... Um, that really tested your metal, really made you think, and really challenged you. And I, and I like that. I think that's a great direction for shooters to go into, first-person shooters especially. Um, I think this is a little too archaic in its design, and, and the difficulty is more in its... The difficulty can sometimes be frustrating as opposed to challenging. Um, so I think that kicks it down a little bit for me. The story, again, it just... I, I wanted to skip the cutscenes, but for the sake of the... Uh, sake of the game i usually try and, and go through the story at least the first time through and the story was complete horseshit so I, it didn't matter at all um so I, yeah i mean like i said it's not the greatest first person shooter but it was a quick throwaway fun fun little game um if you're into blade runner aesthetics if you're into old school first person shooters like doom quake Cas castle wolfenstein which i have you know like i said i don't have that history because of unfortunately my own uh, genetic makeup uh, if you will prevented me from having that but for those who are into that, this is definitely a game worth checking out. I hope everyone enjoyed this LP. Uh, I'm going to try and get better with each one. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm glad that I actually made it through this LP from start to finish. So uh, We'll see what my next game is. I'm really debating it. I, I have no idea what's coming down the pike. and Maybe I'll go back into some of my older games and, and do one of those. But until next time, I will see you guys. This is Mr. MD Gamer signing out.